Hello and welcome. This is Mike Bath, Field Applications Engineer with BK Technologies. We've recently made some changes to how our firmware updates are handled in our radios. I'd like to demonstrate these changes in a quick how-to video. The downloads will be available on our service portal at www.bktechnologies.com forward slash service portal forward slash products. I'm recording this video in advance, so once the updates go live, I will update this video to include the link in the video description. This update will be in the form of a new Lightning setup file. Once downloaded, the file will likely be located in your downloads folder unless otherwise specified. Please navigate to your downloads folder and double click the Lightning setup file to install. Windows may state the file is potentially unsafe. Please select more info and then install anyway to proceed. On the first page of the setup wizard, please click Next to begin the installation. On the second page, we recommend you leave everything as default unless you have further instructions from your IT department or permissions issues. Please click Next and then Next again. Go ahead and click Yes on the UAC page. You will no longer be required to install a new version of Lightning or what used to be called Lightning Lite for each firmware upgrade. This new version of Lightning will rely on update packages in the form of BK files, also available on our website, just as firmware updates are today. Unless otherwise specified, when downloaded, these will also be found in your downloads folder. Once the installation is completed, you should have a new Lightning icon on your desktop to launch Lightning. If you do not, please press the Windows key on your keyboard and type Lightning to search for the application. Once we have Lightning open, please follow the standard procedure of connecting a radio to the computer, holding the push to talk button, and turning it on to enter bootstrap mode. Once the radio is connected, click the Browse button to browse for the BK firmware package previously downloaded. Select it and click Open. Once the proper package has been selected and the radio is connected, click Start to begin the firmware update. Lightning will flash the radio as normal and report when successfully completed. Once done, feel free to disconnect the radio and either connect another to update or close Lightning. That's all for our firmware update process. Please remember to like the video if this was helpful, leave a comment with questions or suggestions, and subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified of updates from BK Technologies. Have a wonderful day.